couple of weeks ago I did a video on how to check your laser level for accuracy and it surprises a lot of people that laser levels aren't always that accurate and sometimes they can be knocked out of calibration. Now if it's a cheap laser level getting it recalibrated is really not worth it. You might as well throw it away and get another one. When you've got a more expensive laser level then it is worth getting it calibrated every so often. But for a lot of people, that's an added expense that they don't really want. So I've got an alternative level for you, which is more accurate than most laser levels, certainly as accurate as anything you can get. It costs eight quid and it is 100% reliable, no batteries or anything. So there's the first component, which you could actually just use a hose pipe. And here's the second component, which is two vials. Now, you may already have guessed that what we're looking at here is a water level. This technology, if not quite the plastic, goes back to the ancient Greeks, the Romans, the Egyptians. They all used water to level their buildings out in one way or another. Now, this is a very, very convenient thing because not only can it measure levels over long distances you could do it over half a mile if you wanted to but also you can measure round corners now laser levels aren't great at measuring round corners so let's show you how it works you can see that once you get the air out of it just give the hoses a little bit of a shake make sure there's no trapped air in there and you can see that the water finds its own level and that's basically the principle we're working on i've taken the tops off to release the air from the top and when you're doing the measuring obviously you don't want those tops in because you're you're pushing against air but when you're carrying it around you want to put the tops back in so you can see that we've got a perfectly accurate level there and we can leave one here fix one on one point and carry the other one to wherever we want and it will continue to be level so they give you a three meter hose here but you could extend this you could do this with a garden hose and just get yourself a couple of these vials and do it just with the vials and nothing else people do make up their own but for eight quid you've got to wonder whether it's worth it so you can see that over three feet or less than three feet this brick course is dropping whatever the brick he was using as a line level it wasn't very good so if you want 100 percent accuracy you're setting out the foundations for an extension or something like that or even just leveling your garden for a bit of landscaping you can get them from faithful you can get them from a company called holland or this one i just got off ebay unbranded for eight quid 100 percent reliable no batteries so with this trusty old stabilo you can see that verifies that that is running out a little bit not by a lot you see that's not a huge amount on the bubble is it but that's enough to drop it by three or four millimeters over that distance and uh, in his defense whoever laid this brick wall all those years ago was doing it overhand because there was another building here which i've now knocked down one tip by the way is that if you're using a water level don't leave half of it lying in the sun and the other half in the shade because that'll give the water a different weight and you will find a discrepancy. So all the water in the level has got to be the same temperature. I'm Roger Bisbee, come back and see us soon. Let us know what you think of this. If you're old school, if you're an old, old builder, you'll know all about these, but if you're young, you may never have seen them before. <laughs>